lightweight. Handy. Somewhat uncomfortable. The Troy Alpha Carbine, the M7A1 stock, had a couple things that concerned me. The stock took some getting used to, but once you realize that you need to index your cheek off the back of the nub, you can put some pretty good shots on target. Contact! After firing a couple mags through the rifle with and without body armor, uh, the stock really grew on me, and uh, I ended up really liking it. Um, it does collapse down further than you'd ever actually be able to get a cheek weld on. So the only reason you'd have it collapse all the way in is something like vehicle ops uh, working in some uh, extreme close quarters situations, like in your mom's basement. What do you think, eh? It's too little. It's not too little! Okay, go. Dang. He's like my baby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like my baby. <laughs> This is by no means a robust reliability test. However, with about the 1,000 or so rounds that we've put through the rifle so far, we have not encountered any issues. I am concerned, however, with parts wear. And this is due to the fact that they have shortened the buffer spring system so much in order to get the stock as short as it is. You're likely going to have to replace that buffer spring more often than you would have to replace a buffer spring on a carbine length or a mid-length gas system. But if you're looking at this stock system, you yeah. likely understand that you're going to have to make this sacrifice in order to get a stock that is as short as this one is. I do want to point out that I am talking about very high round counts, 20,000, 30,000 plus. And long as you're replacing those components, those springs, you're likely not going to have any issues. When all is said and done, she recoils harder than most 5.56 ARs. However, this is one of the most handy, pointable rifles I have shot in a long time. The stock definitely isn't for everybody. Do you want to get this rifle? Go to a range, get to a gun store. You can put a couple magazines through it and see if this is a rifle for you. Overall, I'm going to give this 4 out of 5 in blocks. Grand thumb recommended.